Over time, our Macs can fill up with unnecessary files and clutter, especially if you've never done a system cleanup. And this buildup can slow your Mac down. So today I'll show you some simple steps to clean up your Mac. But before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way you never miss out on our content. Okay, first, it's important to check what's taking up space on your Mac. To do this, tap on the Apple menu, System Settings, General, and then click on Storage. Here, move the pointer over a color to see how much space each category is using. Now, before I dive into how to clean up your Mac, drop a comment down below to let me know how much free space you have left on yours. I just got a new one, so I'm happy to say I have plenty of space. But okay, let's start with the cleanup process. The first thing we recommend you do is use the Optimize Storage tool. Apple knew that the clutter that builds up on Macs could be an issue, so this is a native macOS feature. Here in the storage settings, you'll see the recommendations to help save space on your Mac. You can use Story in iCloud to move files to the cloud or optimize storage to get rid of large media files. You can also delete unnecessary files directly from here. Just click the info icon next to a category like applications, trash, or documents to see a list of stored files or apps, select an item, and click delete. Also, make sure to take a look at the other recommendations and make adjustments to manage your Mac storage according to your needs. Next, delete large and old files. These can take up valuable storage and clutter your Mac over time, so cleaning them up is super important. You can do this manually by searching for them one by one, or you can save time with a quick and easy tool like Clean My Mac. To get started, grab a free trial using the link in the description and open the app. Then go to My Clutter and click Scan, Review All Files and Large and Old Files. Here, select what you want to delete, click Remove, and that's it. Also, if you want to go further, you can check similar images, duplicates, and downloads to clean up even more. Now, the applications you've installed on your Mac also take up space, and over time, as more apps file up, your Mac might start running slower. So, another thing you can do is remove apps you no longer use or need. Open Finder, go to Applications, right-click on the app that you want to remove, and choose Move to Trash. However, keep in mind that moving an app to trash doesn't completely uninstall it. Leftover files can stay on your Mac, taking up space. So to fully remove them, you can use Clean My Mac's Uninstaller feature. Go to the Applications module, Manage My Applications, Uninstaller, select the app you want to delete, and click Uninstall. This module shows unused applications and which leftover files you have, which is very helpful as well. Next, if you're someone who downloads a bunch of things and forgets to get rid of them, your downloads folder probably needs a serious declutter. So here's a quick tip if thinking about cleaning that amount of files feels too overwhelming. Sort your downloads by date added. Now you only need to scroll to the very bottom of the folder to find the oldest files, command click to select what you want to delete, and then delete. Additionally, your Mac creates cache files to store frequently used information, making data access faster. However, over time, these files can take up a lot of space, and instead of speeding things up, they can actually slow your system down. So clearing these files is a great way to boost your Mac's performance. You have two options here. Delete cache files manually, or use a tool like Clean My Mac to handle it for you. Open Clean My Mac, select Cleanup in the sidebar, and click Scan. Next, click Review to choose what you want to delete, or simply click Clean to remove everything in one go. Next, backing up your files is essential, but over time, old backups can pile up and take up a lot of space on your Mac as well. So that's why it's also a good idea to remove iOS backups you no longer need. I don't have any backups on my Mac right now, but if you do, you can simply go to the Apple menu, click on System Settings, General, and then Storage. Here you will need to find iOS files, click the eye icon next to it, choose the backup you want to remove, and click Delete. And finally, let's talk about DMGs, which can take up a lot of space on your Mac as well. To clean them up, open Finder, 
type .dmg in the search bar, and then delete all files with a .dmg extension. Don't forget to empty your trash afterward. Now, before I conclude, make sure to watch our video on how to speed up a slow Mac. The link is down below in the description. And there you have it. That's how you can clean up your Mac. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things Mac. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.